All right, in this video, I'm going to show you another great use for my homemade vacuum forming machine. As you can see, there's a white plastic clip on this awning window. This one's in good shape, but the one up here is busted. I'm going to be making a brand new clip using my homemade vacuum forming machine. I'll show you how right now. Now what I did is I removed a good one. The other ones are busted right around here. These are parts you can no longer find or they're very hard to find because of their age and where they're made. So I'm going to take these two rivets right here that are in position to be able to move around. I'm going to drill the back side out and then lift each one of these off so I have the piece of plastic all ready to go into my vacuum forming machine. Let me drill those off and I'll come back with the vacuum forming machine and this piece of plastic in position. Alright, this has been removed. I drilled out the rivets. Now I'm going to get my vacuum former all ready to go, which is right there. There's my vacuum pump, and I have my heat gun, and there is the forming material. Alright, this is my vacuum forming plate that I made. I do have a few other videos you may want to check out. Take the part, position that right in the middle, like that. Take a piece of splint material out of here. This is acrylic. I actually have two different thicknesses. This is a, I think, a .040. And this one here is 020. That's what it looks like. Pull off the plastic. Lay it right on top, centered. Apply the top ring. Apply my clamps. This plate I made probably 20 years ago. Still works great. Okay. Let me zoom in a little closer. Now the next step is I'm going to apply heat to this acrylic until it becomes extremely pliable. Once it's very pliable using this heat gun, I'm going to turn on my vacuum pump and that's going to draw all the air out of this area below this plastic and it will conform to that piece that I'm making. Here we go. So let me apply the heat. This has to be extremely pliable, otherwise the shape won't conform properly. Any minute I will turn on the vacuum pump switch and it will be drawn straight down. Apply a little more heat at the bottom. Good. Hold that there to protect. Perfect on that side. Make sure that edge is nice. Right 
here. A little bit more in the middle. I'm sure all the edges are down. Okay, that is perfection. All the edges are nice and flat. Let this cool a minute and then I can turn off the vacuum pump. Let's close the look. That's it. Remove the clips. Looking good. Take the ring off and lift this straight out. There we go, nice and flat, well formed. Let's take a look at the back. Look how nice and flat that is. All ready to be removed. Then I could pour epoxy resin with a little bit of reinforcing material, flush with the top, and then I could pop out the new one. It's as simple as that. All right, this was removed. And this is what it looks like. Perfect shape. Excellent detail. The next step is to fill this with the epoxy resin with the reinforcing mesh and let it cure. And then I could drill the hole straight through on both of these. Take a file around the edges and then I'll have an exact duplicate of the piece that I need that broke. Now once the epoxy resin is poured into this cavity, I'm going to put a thin layer of it and then take this fiberglass reinforcing mesh, lay that in there as well, push it down into the resin to embed it, and then once it's down, I'll apply the top layer of epoxy resin. By adding this material, it will reinforce this piece once it's made. All right, this is what it looks like after the resin has had time to cure overnight. I'm now going to remove the acrylic material and then I'm going to smooth out the bottom and I will be good to go. All right, this is the one that I will be swapping out, all busted up. And here's a new one that I made. Everything is sanded down nice and smoothly. It's perfectly flat and the holes are tapped for A32, all ready to go. All right, this is the finished product. It's all together. Everything is greased up. Everything slides nice and easily. New E-clip. Everything's greased up on the back. Now what I did here, when I put the rivets back into the holes, they went almost flush. So I took a center punch and I struck the middle of them. And by doing so, it mushrooms out the aluminum pin, allowing it to lock into position on this rod. I'm now going to reinstall this on my window and I am good to go. Another great use for my homemade vacuum forming machine. And there you have the clip installed with grease on it. Looks just like the one that I molded it from, which is right there. 
If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you for watching.